Are we ready? What's up, my good people? Shout out to my brother, Mike's Biggs Boxing, for the first interview ever. And I promise you, we already, I already put it into to, to the universe. Now we're going to manifest this. This will be history. Yes, sir. <laughs> I appreciate you, kid. Thank you. I'm coming at you with another one. <clears throat> Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you comment out, and I read all comments and I answer them. And um, <clears throat> subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get right into it. Heard against Resin. <laughs> Resin is I can't say the dude name for nothing. Anyway, man, uh, good fight. Uh, I don't think her was ready for it, and um. <clears throat> Let me start off by saying I think her should retire. I mean, I I used to like to do. I still do like him. You know what I'm saying? I like his heart. I like his grit. I like his um um his ring generalship, man. I just don't like his boxing style. You know that shit. You know I've always said, and I said this a long time ago after I was introduced to uh Jared Hurd by my my guy uh. Corey Lee Boxer, you know what I'm saying? He didn't want to mention him. And then after that, after he mentioned him, I started watching him. And um, I kind of like what I seen, you know what I'm saying? To come forward, uh, uh, punches and bunches, um, just, 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 to get, just to get you out of there quickly, right? Um, I kind of liked it. But at the same time, I'm like, what? this nigga has no, this dude has no kind of defense, you know what I'm saying, towards his face. You know what I'm saying? Never mind a body getting hit. Dudes is hitting, you know, aiming for your 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 your, uh, your juggernaut and you ain't trying to block or nothing, man. You just want that that smoke, man. I mean, you know, when you're younger, you know, sometimes that could be, you know, saying entertaining uh for us fans, but at the same time, you have uh you wanna have a long you wanna have longevity in the sport of boxing, you know what I'm saying? And um you can't have longevity getting beat in your face, you know what I'm saying, in every goddamn fight. You know what I'm saying? That shit is ridiculous, man. He's like a, you know, rock him, sock him doll or some shit out here, man. This nigga's just getting hit everywhere, man. And then, you know, you'll come forward, you know, uh, uh, Philly, Philly shell style uh, wasn't working because your man Resin was, uh, <laughs> Ashley's corner, I appreciate you. Resin, your man Resin um, was, um, Pivoting, pivoting out the way, you know what I'm saying? Circling around you and beating you, you know what I'm saying? To the punch, you know what I'm saying? This dude beat you from pillar to post the whole damn fight, the whole fight. And um, I don't know what your corner was telling you to do or not to do, but you wasn't listening. Clearly, you wasn't listening because um, you got your arse beat, buddy. You got beat, man. And I, you know, and I hate for a man to get beat like that, but, you know, if that's the way you're going to fight, man, that's what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? And you just ran, ran into a wrong one Saturday night. You ran into the wrong one. I mean, I've been said it a long time ago. You should not use your face to block punches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're in a uh, weight class where ain't nothing but power coming at your ass. You know what I'm saying? 160, 154. That's, ain't nothing but power right there, bro. Nothing but power. And you know what I'm saying? And you, you failed the task, man. You ain't get the memo, bro. 
You need to either go back to the drawing board, get yourself some new trainers. Um, I mean, clearly your conditioning was good because you were still ready to go. Um, but skill-wise, man, you didn't match up to Resin. Uh, Resin did his homework. He knew what you came to do. He knew what you was going to do to him. And um, he prepared properly. You know what I'm saying? He prepared for it. And um, I just don't think uh, boxing is a sport you should be doing anymore, Mr. Herb, because if you like your faculties, you're going to need to stop doing this right away because you won't be... Uh, uh, um, nobody's going to be able to comprehend you by the time you're 40. You know what I'm saying? That's not no way to live. And then, you know, multiple other problems might pop up because of all the damage you've, you've been taking. You know, look the way your face looked when you fought Laura. Laura was banging the shit out your ass. You just, I don't know how, you just seemed to be taking all that shit. And um, I'm pretty sure you got hurt a couple of times against Laura. I mean, your last three fights was iffy. You know what I'm saying? It's to say the least, bro. And um, I just, you, I mean, you tried to, uh, actually, you did try to do something different in one of your fights, and you was on the bottom. He was on the outside. Uh, you was landing, you know, shots, but it just wasn't good enough. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. So you just got to go back to the drawing board and um, make some changes or retire. Retire from boxing all the way. Anyway, that's all I got on it, man. I didn't want to, you know, talk too much about it. Um, like I said, I like Jerry Hurd. I mean, he's a hell of an athlete, a hell of a fighter. Um, I'm just mad he never made changes to what, you know what I'm saying, to his his um, fighting style. Because um, if you continue doing this, man, you're going to be walking around like James Tony. What, nigga? Anyway, that's all I got, man. Shout out to the, my almighty LDBC. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, and um, and share the video, man. Share the video so, you know what I'm saying, get rotation. All right? I'm out. Peace.